Today we've got another interesting one. We've got an ICF house or insulated concrete form, which is a newer method of building structures. It's kind of like stacking Lego bricks in this case that are made of two panels of styrofoam and then you fill the center with concrete. It makes for a real solid, sturdy structure and because of the mass of the concrete, it makes for a building that's very energy efficient, both in hot and cold climates. The, typically the shortfall with the ICF or the insulated concrete form houses or buildings is the roof system. Here we come into this particular house and we're using closed cell spray foam for the roof system to give what uh, in our opinion is an almost ideal structure. We've got a mass wall with concrete with styrofoam insulation on the inside and the outside and you've got closed cell spray foam insulation in the whole roof. You've got a nice exposure to the south for the sun. It wouldn't surprise me if this building takes almost nothing to heat in the winter time. On this application, we're applying the foam about five and a half inches thick. Now this is, in terms of R value, going to net you out approximately an R38. But again, since you don't have the air infiltration and the leakage issues that would be associated with other types of insulation, you're going to have an insulation that's going to be more effective. A house built with this design is very important to have some method of air exchange because the concrete, the windows, the styrofoam, and the spray foam is going to make for a very tight structure. So it's very important that from the design stage that there's some accommodations made to have some air exchange. The structure behind me that's got the wood on the outside is the garage, it's not part of the house. There's no point in using the concrete construction method for a garage. You don't have the energy factor because most people don't heat their garages to room temperature. Either way, we're going to apply some spray foam on the inside of the garage to seal it up nice and tight. So it'll probably maintain a temperature above freezing most of the winter without any additional heat source, just from the heat from the ground and the little bit of heat that might come off of the house and a little solar gain during the daytime. This is kind of a unique building. ICF construction is typically used for basements, foundations, and footings. Very few people have adopted it for the entire building all the way up to the roof line, which is kind of a shame because it's a great construction method. This is one of the few houses that you're going to find at least at this point in time, where the concrete walls have been run all the way up to where the roof begins. Now, there are some particular advantages with this type of construction method because the mass of the concrete really helps moderate the temperature inside the building against the temperature outside the building. 